All right. So bright. We've got the workshop open. We've got a Fender Squire Vintage 72 Telecaster Thin Line that we're going to do some modification with. This is a demo that I bought online from Sweetwater. And it was a sweet deal from Sweetwater. We're going to do a few modifications. One of the things we're going to do is change the pick side from white to maroon. We've already added a new guitar strap with the rose flavor that fits. We're going to do some modification to the board and uh, add those. We're going to change the uh, string holder and get that looking better. So we'll be back. We'll get started in a minute. So one of the first things we're going to do with the Squire Vintage 72 is change that string crease. And we're going to go from that crummy little silver one to a uh, black made in China deal string tree. We think it's a little classier. I'm not sure if it is or not, but we're going to kind of go to a black motif here overall. So first we'll do is hit the magic light, spin this one out. Probably got my hand in the way. This is the simplest screwdriver fits good. It seems to. I'll break it. I gotta get another screwdriver. This one is too crummy. Be right back. Okay, so we gotta find a tip screwdriver and manage to get that tight and snug. And now all you gotta do is lay those strings under and they'll hold that down nice and we'll retune it up to pitch. And that first modification will be done. The next thing we're going to do is the old one that come off. These are crummy. The next thing we're going to do is get back down here and uh, remove the pick guard. Because we're going to change the pick guard from this boring white thing to a boring red thing. <laughs> I guess it's all what you think is boring or not. So it's going to take a little time to pull these screws out and we'll flip this over and put another one in. So, All right, right, so now we get started to remove the pick guard. First thing I'm going to do is pop these knobs off. And I'm going to replace these silver ones with black ones. I don't have any here right now. So I've got to get them in. So we'll just pop those off. We'll put them back on when we're done. But I'm going to go with black. And uh, I don't want to damage this pick guide. You never know when you may want to come back and use it on something else. Maybe I'll get another thin line someday. I don't know. All right, so those two come off. There's a couple of screws to remove. Uh, nuts, I mean, that have to come off also. Um, now you can just use the, the nut thing and do them by hand. And lift them off. And there's a washer under here too. So we'll save that on the washer. Break it any way you want to. So the next thing we'll do is take out all these screws. We're going to take out the screws from the, the uh, pickups and disconnect all these screws. And this should be a fairly simple job. Oh, I've got screws to take out of that other speaker piece. Um, we'll just put these all aside. I mean from the five-way, three-way switch on this. Um, I'll finish taking this all off and I'll show you at the end. But this has the original vintage style slotted half-style tuners that are on here also. Uh, and those are going to stay right where they are because it's just exactly what I love. Uh, we will change the nut too and put a black one in here that's going to be um, 
uh, the tusk and that's coming to be here Saturday so we'll finish this up Saturday we'll be back in a minute with the rest of the pick I've decided I'm going to take all the strings off and make this a little bit easier to do because of the pickups and stuff so we're unwinding the strings to remove them we'll leave them attached at the bottom out of the way and then we'll get back to the pick guard and see how this lifts up I don't know if you can see under here, but once you get the pick hat up, you can see that there's the um, adjusters are very long. The adjusting screws for the pickup are very long, and they're going to be a bit of a pain in the neck. Um, and I may put some more tape on the underside of this just because I can. Um, shielding tape. I have some gold shielding tape I'm probably going to add on there. Um, never hurts. So I got to take the pickups off and that's a bit of a pain in the neck. I may go get the power screwdriver to help me just because it'll roll a little bit faster that way. Simpler. So sit tight for a minute and I'll be back. Now this is with the pickups out, except for one. I got one more left to go. These long screws set the height for the pickup once it's in the playing position in the guitar itself. So you've got to remove those. Um, I forgot that that can be kind of a pain in the neck. And then I'm going to put some more um, tape on the inside of the new pick guard um, to help shield it a little bit better. Uh, it never hurts to have more shielding. Anyway, be back in a minute. And I'll show you what we do here, is remove these screws all the way until it releases from the pick guard. I don't know if you can see that there now or not, but that's that one screw coming out. And you've got to save the spring, because you don't want to lose those guys. So, we have a device for capturing things that run away and we just used it there okay so that's that simple sort of kind of uh, a little melodramatic how's the view what do you guys see in anything yeah not a heck of a lot let's come in a little tighter and you can see me take screws out how exciting will that be all right I'll try to keep it in the in the picture are we in the picture do I have any light on it I don't know. Let me put the light on the flashlight. Shut that over this way and see if that helps at all. All right. So now these should come out all the way. I'll try not to lose the spring this time. I'll keep it a simple adventure. And not on the main side, just popped another spring. We're going to land it right in front of me though. Better to be lucky than good. Let's get that one out and out of the way. Now we've got the last screw on the pickup adjustment screw with the spring. Let's see if we can save this one. There it's off. And that's off. And now the old pick guard is completely free. And that's off. Okay? So we're going to do away with that one. And what we'll do is line it up and see how the holes match up. See if this is going to be a simple fit or a nightmare on Elm Street. It looks like the holes are lining up pretty good. I don't know if you can see there, but that's what it's going to line up like. So we'll first get this out of the way. We'll clean up a little bit. We'll... Um, Put some more shielding tape on here, which I have. Oh, it's in the other room. I'll go get that and we'll get started on that. All right, now we're going to do is cheat a little bit and use some black marker on these silver screws to change the color 
So we'll go with the new motif of black instead of silver. So that's how you convert some of this if you don't have a black screw. It's called cheating. Good as new. Nobody would ever know the difference. So we'll put that down, let that dry. And we'll do all eight of these silver screws and try to turn them into black screws. It's got my finger black. Anyway, we'll be back in a minute. The other thing you need to check out is to make sure that the um, pickups are going to fit into these holes correctly because it's, they should. It's a fender pot and they do, so that's fine. The other thing we need to check out is the screw hole size and make sure that they fit and they do, so we're good. All the way around there, so things are going to fit. They're going to go back together and that's what this is going to look like when it's done. This is going to sit down on there, but I've got to get through that hole to make it sit down for the test. See what I mean? And then that'll go together. And I think this will fit. I think that this will fit. Oh, I might have to, oh, I might have to take some edge off. This is looking like it's going to be too tight. So I may have to get a file and file these edges. And I've got a flat file out in the other room. I'll go get that and we'll put that, get that done before we get into it. Because you want to have that ready before you um, get all the screws in and then figure out that it doesn't fit. So we've gone out to the shop and got our file set. I got a rounded and a flat file. And what we're going to do is to take and file in here. I'm going to do that over the sink and this here and make this just a little bit bigger so it'll fit well. So I'm going to do the filing and then I'll be back. We'll test it. All right, so I did bring it over and I filed all that stuff down. And I think you can see now that it fits good. And I'll show you the holes here. Got all the holes line up now too, which is nice. See those holes? All the screw holes will fit good. And this is a nice tight fit, just the way it should be. And the rest of this stuff will lay right in place. Um, we'll peel the plastic protective coating off and we'll get ready to put this all down now. Okay. Okay, so now we're putting the um, pickup back in. And I've got two screws in place started now to bring it up right on this side. And then we'll get two more on the other side going. And we'll work our way back down from the neck over. Okay, so this is the hard part of the job. Just getting these guys started. I'll try to give you a, a bird's eye view. Let's pull these in a little tighter first. And we'll kind of line up on side. because it pulls the pickup into the correct position on that side. So now we've got to do the other side. And we've got two of these screws we've painted. We've got the springs we've cleaned up. We'll get ready to put that back in on this side. I'm sorry it's darker over here. I don't know if you can see anything I'm doing, but anyway, we're putting that spring on. And then we'll get it lined up with the hole. And once we get it lined up with the hole, try to give it a couple of turns by hand. And then just to hold it in place, a couple of zaps with the screwdriver. And then we'll do the same thing on the last one on this side. Once you get the springs in and get it started, that's the whole ball game. So we just got to get that to start into the hole. And then use a little bit of power. And I'm trying to get this up level with the other side.
and we got all the plastic protective layer off of the pick guard now too and you can see it's nice and shiny so that's the first pickup in place now we've got to do the same thing with this one and the first thing i got to do though i forgot to blacken up the top of the head so i'll get those done and we'll finish up that part Okay, now we got the uh, pickups in place and I started with the uh, volume control or not the volume control but the switch knob that's going in so that's hooked up and then I've got to make sure I don't screw up any of the wires down below and we'll get these volume control and the tone knob back into the business without getting them screwed up and uh, we'll be well on our way to being done. So if we do that, and then put a screw on to kind of hold it in place for now, we'll wiggle it all around and get it back in shape. Yeah, we're on and that's spinning nice and easy. So we're ready to lay this in. I gotta make sure the wires are in the right places. And there they go. The wires are down. The pick guard is down and fitting okay. Now I got some black screws I'm going to use to secure it. And then we'll make some adjustments, put the strings back on, clean it all up a little bit, and be as good as brand new shiny. Try to lay in a couple of critical corners and see if everything's going to do okay. And it looks like it's going to be fine, fine, fine. Can you see that? Yes. You couldn't see the other one, though. So we already put our first um, screw in down the bottom there. We'll put these guys in. See how that goes. That goes simple like that. I'll lay in another one here. About five more. Right out of the box here. So we'll be back in a minute and we'll show you it all finished up. Now the next minor modification we're going to do on the guitar is to replace these silver ones, uh, strap holders, with the black. Just because. Because it's my guitar. Uh, and I want to do it. So these are coming out. You can throw a little light on that. Oh, you can't see me. We'll put it together. And we'll put the black felt on the end. And then we'll put the drill guide into forward. And then after I put it in, I'll hit it with some black magic marker on the end to uh, sort of hide the, the silver. No extra charge. So that's that quick replacement. That went really well. And then I got one on the tailpiece. That So that's out simply and we'll take the screw out of here and reuse it in the other one. We'll get the black and the black felt. We'll put that in. We'll put that in. We'll clean up the hole. Put the drill in forward. Quick. Then lay it in there with a low power drill. That's the nice thing about this little black and decker guy. It's low power, no heavy duty pushing. Um, and so, um, and so that's the upgrades for that. And we'll flash it with the blue light, and you can see how cute it is, rather than silver. And then we'll take a magic marker. 
oops, and will magically mock the end with black maca and get rid of the silver screw. Now the other one do the same thing down here. Where am I? I'm lost. I lost myself. There we are. Okay, it's a nice view of that too. So we'll put a little light on it. There. And then we'll hit the screw with black marker until the whole thing turns black. How's that for a cute idea? And again, we'll be careful not to slip and put black marker on the clear bodied guitar because that would be a disaster. Put the new piece up on the top, the string tree, that's all on. Um, I got a new nut coming. One of those graphite nuts from Tusk, somebody or something, Tusk. Um, and they're very nice. Uh, and they're graphite, and they allow the strings to slip. Um, I could tape this up right now with some masking tape and then hit it with marker and be able to see what it would look like. And maybe we'll do that just for the fun. I've got the beloved blue painter's tape and we're going to set that right up against there and push it down very hard. It's very hard there. Then we're going to take it on the nut. So let's try this right now live and in living color. So we're going to convert this from a white nut instantly to a black and we'll put a better one in when we get it it's coming Saturday we'll swap it out but in the meantime we can see what it's going to look like it's always curious to see how things are going to run put this down here and we'll make sure we got some down here on the side on the front. Now you should try to do another layer. Sometimes it tends to take the original marker layer off. So the enemy of better or good is better. You try to make it a little better. Some of I'm betwixt in between as to which way to go. I've got a set of reds, I've got a set of blacks, I'm pretty sure both um, how'd that go? Well, I got a little bit of marker on the neck, but that's the price of being a wise guy. A little bleed over. I didn't get it quite tight enough. We can fix that when we change. Um, but that's pretty good. And free. The alcohol with uh, lighter fluid and get it all as shiny and clean as I can make it to start off with. And we'll go with a reddish set of um, stickers, Fret, fretboard stickers. These are made by um, Giacomo. And Giacomo makes a very good set. I've used Giacomo quite a bit. It comes with a diagram here that shows you follow which ones go with which. That's pretty good so you don't get confused in the process and screw yourself up. Because they're designed to cover the fret marks um, as you lay them down. So this is the beginning part that'll go up the top and this will follow down and end up down here kind of like that if you can see the whole thing the way it'll end up not bad at all so we've got to do some cutting we'll get ready to do some sticking i'm going to clean up the fretboard with some uh lighter fluid first and get ready so it'll be all clean so here we've got some ronsonol lighter fluid and what we're going to do is just take a little bit of lighter fluid squirt it on the rag and then we'll wipe this down because this um, cleans everything off really well 
and um, leaves no residue. So you can use it to um, get rid of fingerprints and all kinds of crap. Give the whole guitar a once over and get rid of any signs or anything we've already done here if we can. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to kick you guys around. Um, and we'll do that, and we'll get this, and we'll get this, and this will clean off any mess of sticky stuff that's left over from the original shipping cotton and stuff, which is pretty good. And then we'll just buff it down with the dry side of the rag and get all this stuff off. And I think you can see that it leaves the fretboard, um, especially with this finish on it, nice and shiny and clean and dry. So the, it'll be, um, the decals will stick to it well. There'll be no tackiness to it. So we'll be back. Okay, so what you need to do this fret inlay stuff is the inlays themselves, a nice clean fingerboard, a push pin helps to lift the decal off, and then a stiff pick. This is an Alice, a very stiff pick. And what you do is you rub these on the surface before you lay them down, and that makes this stick to the adhesive pot on top, and it'll break away from the um, from the sticker easily. So what we're going to do is just trim these down close to where they're going to be, and we've got the diagram we're going to follow, so you can see where about these need to be placed and how, you know, and then you're just going to follow them down. So we're going to trim this down close to the edge of the design, okay, so that it's going to sit right next to the, um, the fret easily, and then we'll trim off the excess on the next one, so it can sit up against the fret easily. And then you can line them up. Just zip, zap, zip. So that one will go there. This one will go here. On that side. And then you can line up where the next one can go. If you trim off the excess. And lay this up against the fret. So you can see where the two ends roughly ought to be. So we'll get a few of these ready, and then we'll start laying them down. And I'll show you what I mean. And then we'll take a break from the video, and we'll um, get it all done and show you when it's finished. <coughs> so what we're going to do is peel this away. And you want to peel the paper away from the front sticker, really. And that way it lifts off cleanly and doesn't get in your own way. And then you need a good position. And you can see where this one is roughly going to be. So you want it to meet about in that part of the fret. Coming down. I'm a little low. So we can put that there. And then I can get the next one ready to ride. We'll peel off this piece and see where it's about going to meet there. And we'll lay it right in the middle oops, of the uh, fretboard. Moving down to the next piece and get the angle right. You want to center it between the frets so that it has the best looking effect you can get. And then we'll peel this one off. I've done a bunch of these, so I can move along fairly quickly. Without getting in trouble. And then this next one, where are you? We'll see where that's going to sit. We'll get that one laid about right. And then we'll take a break from the action and get these all put down. Let's get this up and see where I need to be. Need to be about there. Now, 
which is pretty nice. So that's how that top part's going to look. And I'll be back with you in a minute and show you the finish. Okay, there it is all down. Um, I haven't taken the outside stickers off yet, and we'll get to that next. But that's what it's like before we get to the finish finish. And I got a couple of other pieces I may use up on the headstock. We'll see. So we did do another piece on the headstock just to cute it up a little. Now what we're going to do is rub it all down so that the inlays stay very well. And you peel back and peel straight over the top of the inlay so you don't tend to peel it up again. And then with the stiff pick, good old Alice, we'll give it a rub and lay it all in nice and tight. You dress up a fretboard and make it look nice. There's the fretboard all done. Looking pretty good. Everything shined up. I'm gonna get ready to put the strings back on and we'll play it again. Nice guitar. Very nice. Well, <clears throat> here's this round of modifications done on the Squire Vintage 72 Thin Line Telecaster. We replaced the string holder, we redid the fretboard, we did the nut, um, we replaced the pick guard, and we're going to go with all black around the outside and the screws and stuff. It turns out good and it'll play pretty good. It'll play very good. We'll take it over and give you a rundown. Makeover. Done. New strap. New string guard. New fretboard. New pick guard. New strap holders. All done. Now, we played it as a harmonica. Or as a Pinocchio guitar. Let's plug it in. And see what it sounds like. Thin line, 72. Nice, 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 nice. Love it.